Okay, I just recently finished the Long's Peak hike in Colorado. Uh, total elevation on the summit is 14,295. It is considered a Category 3 mountain, meaning uh, out of four categories, it could require some ropes and special gear, but for the most part, me doing it this August, which I believe was a perfect time. Uh, it, it wasn't necessary for perfect gear. A helmet could come in very handy. Uh, I did get a late start. I would recommend starting before 7 a.m. and give yourself plenty of time. It's going, it's going to be just under 15 miles total round trip if you summit up to that 14,000 plus. And the video you're going to see kind of what some of the terrain look like and, and I want to explain it at mile it's three or four there's going to be a restroom and it's going to be a trail split left to the lake right to the summit and keyhole once you take a right it's going to be another maybe two miles and you will come up on another restroom and you will be able to see the keyhole in the distance there will be a very large boulder field in front of you the trail is very hard to navigate and getting off trail is very common. Just going towards the boulder field will be accommodation enough. The boulders are the size of cars and being very careful where you step is going to be super important, especially if there's snow because you can step through. Once you hit the keyhole, you're going to be scaling on the side of a mountain with a long slide down, possibly drop of a thousand feet or so. Uh, in some sections before it starts to go completely up where you'll be using all fours to navigate upward. If it's very heavy in traffic, definitely a helmet because you'll have people coming down or even going up, knocking off little rocks that could fall for 100 or so feet and hit you. Uh, nothing crazy. I don't think that would kill you, but uh, it could be definitely worth knowing that and I think the most treacherous time would be definitely in the winter where it's possible to slide off. I didn't do it at that time and I don't recommend it. Once you get past that spot, you're going to cut across to the front part and you'll see on this little video that I'm going to show, then it's going to go straight up again. There's not loose rocks, but it's more so just getting a grip and making your way up. You're going to need plenty of time to get up that then you'll be at the very top for me. Fortunately, the weather was great. It was warm, not windy. I was halfway there. Then I had to come off. Make sure you have plenty of water. What could help a lot would be a little straw that you could use in the streams because you're going to be carrying a ton of water or some type of Camden tablets or something just so you can utilize what's what's up there because there's no water up there, although there are two restrooms, but uh, alpacas or llamas they take the uh, the stool down the mountain, so it's not necessarily drinking water. Please comment, rate, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to respond to those. Thanks. Watch the video. First mile of the Long's Peak hike. We have gone 556 feet of elevation gain. We are at roughly 10,050 feet. The trail has been mainly just up, stair-wise, kind of like this. There's been a few uh, flat sections and a slight downhill so far, but uh, very little of that. So if you plan to run it, run those sections, settle in for the power hike. All right, we are coming up on the two-mile mark. We are at around 10,800 feet elevation. We've gained a little over a thousand within this hike. Uh, we are coming up on some waterfalls, which is really cool. And the trail is very consistently going up. Weather looks good. Slight haze today. Hope it's not going to be bad. We are 2.2 to 2.5 miles in, just now hitting the tree line, 10,700 feet of elevation. We've accumulated 
11 to 1200 feet on the trail. It's a good camera. <laughs> and it's going up and I see what I think is the peak there or it could be over here behind these trees. It's getting rocky. All right, we are at Heavy. three miles, 11,100 feet altitude, and we have gained almost 1,800 feet now. We are well above some trees, but not necessarily above the tree line, as you can see. And then there's snow. We are in mid-August, so the weather's really nice. Here with my companions, Sari, Sarah and Marjorie. And then we're going to go on up to the peak almost halfway all right we are four miles in to our hike at mile 3.5 you'll be at a small junction that goes to the lake hang a right we're at 11,700 feet elevation with 22 2300 feet of elevation gain so far, we are now well above the tree line, or where trees grow, at least. And you have some majestical views. All right, mile six, 12,500 feet, 3,000 foot of elevation gain. And I am in Boulder Fields, very technical trail here. I want you to take a look at this. As you can see, mile six, uh, it does tend to taper off a little bit in some sections before it gets technical with going up in boulders. Could be a good place to uh, make up some time. We saw a ranger earlier. Uh, asked him how the weather was looking, and he said, you know, clouds are accumulating. You could probably expect rain anywhere between 30 minutes and two hours. So, considering the pace and distance I have, I want to make sure I get that peak. So, I'm actually jogging on these little tiny sections that are, you know, 5 to 20 jog steps a piece just to make up some time. And I'll say, the trail here is kind of misleading because people get off the trail like I just did and then... You cut across and kind of, you know, it looks like there could be a trail there, a trail there. Oh, look, a groundhog. Um, so make sure you pay close attention to your surroundings. Look at the path most traveled because up here, 12,500 feet, I'll tell you right now, it's technical. Not a lot of people are doing it. All right, I'm six and a quarter six and a half mile there is a toilet stop and really good view of the keyhole 12,600 ish feet and uh looks like a pretty awesome place tents and stuff up here trails really hard to navigate and know where it is um and we'll be coming up on some more snow Fourteen thousand feet according to my altimeter. It's been a straight up the rock scale. This is what I imagine when I say people are bouldering. Um I have to get good grips on the rocks with my hands and it's very hard. Coming up about fourteen thousand feet, it's like crazy. This hike is by far the hardest I've ever done, by far. All right, I just came up, 14,100 feet and some change, what my altimeter is picking up. It is majestical here. And uh, I believe Estes Park is out that way a ways. And uh, surprisingly calm up here without hardly any wind, the sun's out, 
I'm gonna go take a few pictures before I head back. I want you to show me. I, 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 I,